The ESB training premises at Port Leisha enjoys a sunny south-facing orientation. The long south-facing axis of the building makes it ideal for the installation of photovoltaic cells as part of ESB's sustainability programme. It's a lightweight panel to give out uh, 30 volts each panel and 7 amps. There's two groups of nine panels and they're fed uh, down into a panel on the ground which is a uh, grid connect onto the ESB system. With this type of generation, however, power fluctuations are an issue. The brighter it is, the more voltage you'll have coming out of the panels and the less sunshine then, the less voltage. But as it goes into the inverter, it'll, uh, it'll bring it out in clean 230 AC volts. Of course, it is not always sunshine in Port Leisha, and the installation of a wind turbine will take advantage of very different conditions. Only the minimum of assembly work is carried out on site. One of the features of this design is the spring tensioned rotor blades, which proportionately reduce their exposure to the wind as wind speed increases. The turbine will be mounted on a 15 metre tower. A hinged base plate is installed with the appropriate orientation for the lift. Cable installation is also carried out before the lift and the length of the tail is designed for ease of connection. The advantage of the hinged base plate is that the tower can be lowered if necessary for turbine maintenance without the need of a crane or other heavy equipment. The wind generator is a 6 kilowatt proven, it's uh, made, for, made in Scotland. It generates at AC, then it goes into a rectifier to change it back to DC and uh, into the windy boy, which is an inverter, and it changes it back into AC and it sends it back into the grid. The output of the PV cells and of the turbine is monitored and displayed in the canteen, where everyone can see the daily outputs in terms of power and savings of CO2 emissions. There are many strands to achieving sustainability, as Pat Deasy, who has responsibility for the training centre, points out. The installation of the wind generator and the PV cells, both of which combined give a total output of 10 kilowatts leads to a saving of approximately 6 kilograms of CO2 in the training centre's load. We have a number of initiatives which are supporting the ESB strategy for sustainability in the next number of years, one of which is a waste management plan. We also have converted our emergency lighting from standard bulbs to lead type. Also we have reduced our storage heating cycles from 7 days to 6 days and also we have plans well advanced for a biodiversity area at the rear of the building. The use of night storage heating is itself energy conserving and by setting the time switches to match the business pattern the energy bill is further reduced. Activity sensors which turn off lights when nobody is present were installed some years ago and the change to LEDs on the many safety signs results in further savings 24-7. Successful recycling projects depend on segregation at source and the culture change is already taking root. By returning the amenity area, which was once the main entrance to the site, to its natural state with native planting, a biodiverse area will be created supporting an appropriate wildlife habitat. Visitors to the training centre must be positively influenced towards achieving the ESB target of being carbon neutral by 2035. It may seem daunting, but it can be achieved if we all take even little steps, consistently moving in the right direction.